NVIDIA GeForce RDX 4090 Ti Full Fat 8102 Graphics Card Pictured with Massive Triple Fan Cooler Alleged pictures of NVIDIA's GeForce RDX 4090 Ti graphics card featuring the Full Fat 8102 GPU has been leaked by Greymon55. NVIDIA's Full Fat GA102 GPU powered by GeForce RDX 4090 Ti graphics card pictured massive triple fan cooler for 600 plus watt powerhouse. The card pictured is alleged to feature NVIDIA's Full Fat 8102 GPU based on the ADA Lovelace chip architecture. The Full Fat chip is presumably going to feature a TBP of 600 watt plus, and as such, it will require some beefy cooling solutions, such as the one pictured here. As per the leaker, this seems to be an early engineering sample that is used to test the full limit of the monstrous AD102 GPU, which will land in the consumer segment in a couple of months. The final variant for the Founders Edition design is expected to use a vastly different color, but this seems to confirm that AD102 is going to be one hard chip for AIBS to cool down. This isn't the first time we've heard of a triple fan cooler for the reference AD102 board. A while back, Copite 7 Kimi had pointed out the same that a triple fan and a 3-slot cooler were made purely of 8102 GPUs, and this leak seems to be a confirmation of that. As for the card itself, it appears to be very thick both in terms of sheer size and width. The triple fan solution is based on an axial blade design and there's a large heatsink underneath the shroud. The shroud itself is very simple with a matte black texture and it looks like the card comes with a 3-slot form factor. NVIDIA has been relying on a 16-pin connector, so if this is indeed a 600W variant, then a single Gen 5 connector should be enough to boot it up unless the ES design has two of those connectors. NVIDIA GeForce RDX 4090 Ti Expected Specifications The NVIDIA GeForce RDX 4090 Ti is going to be the full fat configuration with all of the 144 SMs available for a total of 18,432 CUDA cores. The GPU will come packed with 96MB of L2 cache and a total of 384 ROPs, which is simply insane. The clock speeds are not confirmed yet, but considering that the TSMC's 4N process is being used, we are expecting clocks between the 2 to 3 GHz range. As for the memory specs, the GeForce RTX 4090 Ti expected to rock 24GB DDR6X capacities that might come at faster 24GB per second speeds across a 384-bit bus interface. And this will provide up to 1.152 terabytes per second of bandwidth. Now, all these boosted specifications will result in a higher power draw too, and the flagship is expected to operate at a TBP of around 600 watts. Now, for 600 watts, a single 16-pin Gen 5 connector should be enough, but most of the custom variants will definitely end up utilizing dual Gen 5 connectors since AIBS don't necessarily stay within spec, and even the slightest factory overclocks will push the TBP above 600 watts, which is the limit of a single Gen 5 power connector. We have also seen an alleged NVIDIA GeForce RDX 4090 Ti heatsink and cooler shroud, which hints at the use of a beefier cold plate that provides coverage for both the GPU and memory dies along an overall larger structure. The previous lead cooler seems more reminiscent of a final FE or Founders Edition design than the new leak, which is more of an in-house testing design, and judging by how big it looks, the AIB models will end up being vastly bigger and we may even end up with quad slot designs from all partners. Harukaze mentioned that this leaked GPU is the full fat 8102. However, that turns out to be the RDX 4000 Titan as the 4090 Ti is a cut down variant of the same chip. Back in 2018, when the Titan RDX was launched, it had a design similar to the RDX 2080 Ti. Therefore, it is hard to tell whether this GPU is the 4090 Ti or the RDX 4000 Titan. All in all, there may quite possibly be a mix up in the configuration of these GPU. It is still possible that NVIDIA never planned to produce the RTX 4000 Titan. Maybe it was all just a speculation. Our questions will be answered on the 20th of September where Jensen Huang will conduct a GTC keynote showcasing Lovelace. So that wraps up our video, hope you found this video helpful, and if so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. Also, please feel free to leave a comment, suggestion for future videos or questions you have as we love getting to respond to as many of those as we can. And if you subscribe to the channel, welcome to our legit pick family. You've got lots of more videos coming your way. Till then, stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.